Today we are reviewing the sound for D, D, and the sound for P. And I have Leo with me again. And Leo is going to say the first part of the word. I am going to say the last sound in the word. And then you try to guess what word Leo and I are trying to say. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Slid. Slid. Hid. Hid. Slid. Slip, hip, hip, bed, bed, hand, hand, gap, gap, harp, harp, rod, rod, had, had, hoop, hoop. And the last one, leap, leap. Good job. How'd you do with those two sounds? Now, I want you to get out your letter D flashcard and your letter P flashcard because I have something extra tricky for you today. All right. When I say a word that ends with the P sound, you are going to hold up your letter P letter card. When I say a word that ends with the D sound, you're going to hold up your letter D letter card. Are you ready? Let's get get tricky. The word is nod. Sap. Ape. Raid. Yep. Beep. Sip. Add. Need. Cape. Ride, tide, soup, seed, tape, rude, rip, and the last one is cup. There you go. How did you do? That was a little tricky holding up those two cards, but I bet you did great. Now I want you to take a look behind me at the chart. And I have a word part, and I want to make a word. And you have to tell me whether I'm going to add the letter D, D to the beginning or the letter P, P to the beginning to make that word. All right. So take a look at the word at the top, or the part of the word at the top. That's at. What if I wanted to make the word pat? What would I add? P pat. Right. I would add the letter P. And that is the word at, pat. Now, I have the word, the word part, et, et. And I want to make the word pet. What would I have to add to the beginning to make pet? Right, another letter P. There we go, pet, pet. Now I've got the word part, n. N. And I want to make the word pen. Pen. Like you write with a pen. What do I need to put at the beginning of N? Write another letter P. Good. So we have pat, pet, pen. Now I have the word part here. A. A Y. It says A when it's together. What if I wanted to make the word day? Day. What would I need to put at the beginning? You're right. I would need a letter D. D. A. Day. You're doing great. Let's take a look at a few more over here. I have the word part O. O. Now, what if I wanted to make pull? Pull, like I pull the wagon. You're right. I would need the letter P. Let me grab, borrow a letter P from right over there. There we have the word O. Pull. Now, what if I wanted to make from the word from the letter parts "ug"? What if I wanted to make the word "dug" like the dog dug a hole for his bone? Dug. What would I add to the front of "ug"? Absolutely, letter D. D. Ug. Dug. Now, I have one last word part here, and this is "ip." Ip. What would I add to the beginning of "ip"? to make the word 
dip. Like mom gave me an extra dip of ice cream. Dip. Right? I would add a D to the beginning of d ip dip. Very good. You are great at making words. Now, today you're going to get some extra practice with page 50 and 51. So you'll get to practice with D and P sound a little bit more. And before I let you go, you do have a new word and a new decodable reader today. You have the new little tiny word of, of, like the United States of America, or the table is made of wood, the little word of. The book that will be in your McGraw-Hill app for you to read today, if you don't have a hard copy of it, is called We Carry. We Carry. And I bet you already recognize that word we, didn't you? All right. Let's open it up. And here is We Carry. Oh, and it's about little tiny ants. And it says, we carry a drop of Water, a drop of water. We carry a plate of sandwiches. We carry a plate of grapes. We carry a plate of apples. We carry a bowl of salad and see the plate of food. All right, so this will be in your McGraw-Hill app for you to take a look at. Try and read it a couple times by yourself and maybe read it to your big person for some extra practice.